that is beautiful, blown away. We can get a Nicholas. We have the oyster farm where they're growing oysters, but specifically for the pearl. So that's the oyster farm. That's the fishing village. All right, thank you, Captain. Chris, what do you think? It's nice, the water's beautiful. It's, oh, wow, look at this. We even get a necklace. Seashell necklace. Salamitpo. One for the baby. Oh, look at that. Okay. And a drink. Uh, you want to try the juice, Chris? Salamitpo. Hello. How are you? Oh, this is beautiful. All right. Okay, temperature's good. Oh, they even give us some snacks. What snack is it? Bread? Churros. Okay, okay. It's got like cinnamon on there, right? Pastry with cinnamon. Let's try these. Ah, uh, uh, it's like uh, pastry. Yeah, you can dip them. When's caramel? Oh, this is a good one, caramel. Okay. Oh, you want some, baby? Here you go. Oh, didn't hit the floor. We didn't even enter the three second rule. How is it? Good? We give the thumbs up. Here we go, resort facilities, huh? Two months here, right now we have the lobby. And we have the library and the shop. So the Sula restaurant is right over there. And it's open from 6.30 a.m. to 10 p.m. And you need to wear a mask if you're gonna get food. Oh, you, you're gonna do a fire dance? Uh, just kidding, sir. <laughs> oh. But well, well, we got fireworks know. happening? Yes, sir. Yes. So there's a big dinner happening, right, Kuya? Yeah, mandatory buffet. Look at all those islands. We're gonna check out a boat tour for tomorrow. The beach is actually nice. It's all wet, packed in, so it's easy to walk on. Like, you got the sandals. Just walking is it's just effortlessly. It's not like you're digging into sand, dry sand. Now, they did advise us when we got here that uh, there's two sides to the island. We'll make it to the other side. The other side is the sunrise. This is sunset. Uh, we're only allowed to swim on this side, and they cautioned us, don't swim after sundown. They got two things happening, um, stingrays, and there's some sharks in the area. That'd be fun to dive with them. Don't think they'll let me do that, though. Found a pool. Chella boy! He's soaking up that sun. Right, there's a nice little feature, a hammock. Relaxing hammock. Oh, rec room. Who's up for a game of pool? Social area, jits table. <laughs> Me and Charlie, we're gonna play some jits tonight. I might show them a move or two. These places down here in Palau and they they certainly impress. Got a lot of functions, keep you really busy. Never run out of stuff to do. I mean, I'm just blown away at the, the islands, the natural resources that are here. That's personally my focus. I could care less about a game of pool. I'll play the jits because it's fun with my son, but my focus is the amazing, natural Philippines islands. Well, you know what it is? It's a chapel. Okay, they're digging some stuff up here. Okay, hopefully there's no bodies. <laughs> Hello. So they got little uh, little balconies. I'm seeing balconies on the other side. Those balconies face the nice beach, that beach on the sunset side. That view, just that, that hill range, it's all rock. All these rocky hills. I wanna, I wanna call them mountains, but they're not mountains. 
All these rocky hills and those formations here in Palawan, that's what makes it unique. Corona, all those rocky formations. YouTube family, this was an amazing adventure. Two resorts, seven days. Sadder, our time has come. All right, so we got an excellent representation here. Uh, that's Corone Town. The airport is way up at the top. So our journey going home is across the bay up to the town. Let's go talk about this place for a moment. All right, we're here with the Y. Two Seasons Resort, our stay is done. It was expensive. We won't talk about prices. You can always go find those on the internet. But uh, in terms of what we paid for, how's the quality of the resort? There's a lot of activities that's included in the amenities for the kids. So if you have kids, even an infant, we have our um, infant with us. And uh, we did a lot of like things just around the island. You don't need to go island hopping or anything with the kids because obviously it's not very safe, especially as this weather today here. It's very windy, but there's so much things to do. You can do um, things at the pool. They have a daycare here the, inside the island that you can actually keep your child uh, while you're having fun outside the island or whatever. Um, there's kayaking. That's, that's beneficial if you don't have a nanny, right? If you have, if you don't have a nanny, yeah. yeah. Um, and it's an extra fee. It's not included in the amenities that you paid for for the room and the, the stay. There's paddleboard. There's the clear kayak that I really loved. We use the clear kayak that you can see under the water while you're going kayaking. You can see the corals and the rocks. Um, there's like life vests for free that you can use that's included in amenities as well. Um, what else? Yeah, there's so much things to do really. Snorkeling, they provide all those things also for the snorkeling, your mask, your gears and everything. The pool, pool is really very good for the kids. My son actually is nine years old and he stayed most of the time in the pool, especially in the afternoon because it gets so windy and they only allow like until 6 p.m. by the beach. So that's another option. So you can have, um, you know, if you have your little ones by the by the pool or in the pool. Because the pool is not really too deep. I think it's really very safe, especially if you have um, life vests for the kids and they have lifeguards everywhere. How about three things for a room of room, room on improvement? I wish for the the room is actually um, like, especially if you have a family, the beds are like all together in one room. Like if you really have like, you know, if you have your in-laws or brothers and sisters and you have, you know, your own family, it's nice that you stay in one villa, but at least there's like a separate privacy, like a door. You know, like a separate for like, you know, one family and then your in-laws or whatever or whoever is part of the family. Because the, the sunlight has, we have two rooms, but there's a connection at the end of the balcony that can connect. So you have both privacy on both two, uh, you know, group. Like our, our family and my in-laws and the nanny has their own room, but we can like meet halfway like a door that can connect on you know, those two rooms. Number two, the lighting. You know, when you're trying to get ready, especially for Instagram yeah, photos and beautification, and especially when you have kids. Lighting you want, in the room. Is yeah, you want a good lighting in the room. Um, you know, obviously, because when you're at the beach or in the island, you want to look good still. And it's so hard to like make your Self look good if you don't have a good lighting. Three, I don't really think of anything. Um, but other than that, all overall experience is really great. We had fun. The staff are really good. Like they're really, really very nice and helpful and everything. Just little things. Every time they very greet respectful. You, every time they greet you, they put your hand, their hand on their chest to like uh, add a sign of respect. And then also little things like I don't know if you noticed it when they got uh, when you get to where you're going. The driver will jump out of the cart yes. and stand there waiting for you to come back. He they does. don't get into the cart until everybody is in the cart. Yes. So that's a really very good gesture. And everybody really will offer you like help even if you don't ask. So it's really like the initiative of like, you know, offering your help. Because sometimes, you know, especially the Filipinos, they're very stoic. Even if they need something, they try not to like ask until they were like, you know, somebody, you know, offered help. But here, that's the thing. Um, really, really helpful. Like, if, even if you just stand there and doesn't need anything, they come and offer help. So that's a very good 
good positive thing that we really notice. In fact, they, I think they kind of go a little step further than that. An amazing job they do here. It's definitely recommended 100%. It's really nice. It's a, I mean, privacy in the island is really good because it's not, it's only for the guests. So basically when you're here, only the guests that you're really going to see and it's very, very nice. You can like really relax. If you want some peace and sanity during your vacation, this is one of the best places to go. Palawan. Things are, things are spread out here too. So the guests aren't on top of yes. each other. So it's like a big island. So it's not like even if they have like 70 guests, I guess, in the island, you're not going to be in like one crampled in one area. So there's like a lot of areas here that you can go and can do. Like as I said, they have spa. They have like two part of spa. They have a gym. They have, um, you know, areas for the kids, areas for the adults and things like that. So it's, it's really nice. All right, you two family. Claire and Charlie Wayne. We'll see you soon. Two Seasons Resort, Palawan, in Corona Islands. I like their layout. It's not as good as the sunlight as far as functionality goes, but their design concepts, I really like the design concepts, the architecture. You know, it's a much smaller island than the sunlight, so their food is actually really, really, really good. They got prime rib, they got premium meat. Their beef, it's not from around here. It's certainly imported, so if you ever want to get that good feeling, that good, good sensation, you'll get that feeling here. Three negatives. Man, unfortunately, the coral, and speaking to some people here the other day, their coral is, is not so good, so that impairs snorkeling. Now, if you want to do diving, they'll take you out to different dive sites where the coral is still good. This coral damaged, it's at the hands of man. The use of dynamite for fishing, and then cyanide. It's local fishermen doing that, not the resort, to be clear, not the resort. Coffee, too. Coffee was good, but man, they only give you a little bit. You want two cups, ends up costing you $10 for one coffee. That was kind of uh, not so good. And then third, well, honestly, I couldn't find a third one. Anyways, my friends, all aboard. Two Seasons Resort, I'd come back. It's a beautiful place. We'll see you soon. Gonna be more island hopping adventures up top. Some video downstairs that Google thinks you like. And then a round button. Smash that round button. That subscribes you to the channel. Get you all the updates every time we post a new video. Till then, my friends, we love you. We'll see you soon.